Welcome back to the Camper Pros. Picked up something, guys, and I know I shouldn't have had, but I did. This is not the old skid steer that was here. This is a new skid steer, 6625 Gale, and it came with a, a pretty good size, thick grapple. So I don't know much about these, but I know the brand's pretty good, and uh, it's used, definitely, um, but it's got only 1,400 hours on it. So it's got a new seat. It's got the... the it has a little noise when going around when turning and i gotta figure maybe change the fluid hope it's not the pump but it does run pretty good um it has a high flow system in it and regular flow and i don't know anything else about it this is cylinders leaking just a hair not bad that's about it though there's like no other leaks um tires probably need to replace them soon uh they're pretty bad but i've seen worse so Otherwise, a pretty good skid steer probably needs a new muffler, but everything else is pretty solid. Like, these gates are pretty thick. It's it's a well-built machine up here, and it's got the, someone says Detroit? I don't know. I don't know what it has in here. I don't even know, but I know it runs good, so that's why I bought it. So, the hydraulic filter looks like it's never been changed. So, we have to uh, go ahead and change that, because that's really important. Because it's, it's, it's squealing a little bit around corners. It does start run good. It needs it needs one glow plug, but I'll probably put all four in. But this setup probably would go for at least I would think at least twenty to twenty three thousand dollars for everything, everything here. And I picked it up for a lot less than that, a lot less than that. I'm not gonna tell you the price, but it's, it's it was really good deal. So there you go. So you'll see some videos of me on that. And I got a little leak in the front and the power steering. I gotta fix that. We got to stock it full of, uh, I got a little trickle charger on it right there. But we got to stock it full of goods. A guy, a guy hit me for, uh, it got me for 700 bucks to wrap this, these doors with the logos in the rear. We got that wrapped. I don't know if I showed you guys yet, but, uh, it was like 700 bucks. I don't know. It seemed good, but a little like, I mean, I couldn't have done it, so I guess it was worth it. But, um, I blacked out the lights right here. I painted them. All the red lights so we wouldn't get in trouble it's all blacked out it's kind of cool so i just got to do a couple more and uh this will be ready i got to put uh inverter batteries and air conditioner on there and it will be good so we're gonna have starlink in the trucks in the service truck so i can do voice i can do wi-fi calling i'll always have a signal if i go to jellystone which is ripped apart right now but i go there i never get a signal i can't charge a credit card can't do anything now i can charge a credit card i can do wi-fi talking calling and uh, there's a lot of places that I can't get signal around here. So it's really aggravating. If you get lost and you, you don't have a signal, you're like, you're just pulling your hair out. So that's going to have to be that way. And uh, we're going to use it for probably a month now because we have no internet besides Starlink because the uh, fiber is down Pangea. So <sighs> this hurricane really, the Chimney Rock, uh, everybody else, they're just... Lake Lure, they're trash. And that's only 25 minutes from here, guys. So this is the spacecraft I work on all the time. I work on that thing all the time. So it's still going. The power's still working. That's good because I thought I thought it was uh I thought it was a goner, but we fixed it. So there it is right there, that RV right down where I work on. I see some dogs out here. Well, this is what happens guys when you start a morning. And you forget to take the pressure off the heater because your your mind is on something that's seriously stripped. They stripped it, yeah. So they stripped it. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so this is turning into a nightmare. I can't get this to stop leaking. It's just dripping. It's dripping inside. So we got to take all this apart again. I, the old one was stripped. The old element was stripped. See, completely stripped right there. See ya. I don't know if it got stripped from factory or from what, but let me tell you, that's a big problem when that's stripped. So now, can't get it to stop leaking. So let's try this again. I'm going to pull it out. So I fixed that camper. It was a pain in the butt. Finally figured it out. Now I'm fixing this camper. It's a water leak. First camper didn't pay us yet, so we have a problem already. We get paid on site as seen, and these people don't want to pay. It's like... We can't leave the RV until it's... I, I, my new rule is you don't leave the RV until you get paid because they can just haul right off and then not pay you. So that's the only thing about this business. It's stupid like that. So I'll go right next to the RV. I'll stay there until I get paid because these people just like to drive off and not pay you. So we'll have to just stay right there and say, hey, look. And the longer I wait here, the more I'm on the clock because I can't, I can't be, you know, I'm missing any other call. So 
it's paid we tell them up front it's paid the day the time we're done at the call we're paid and if they want to wait two hours then it's two more hours labor a period we're, we're done with these doing this stuff for free because we're missing two more hours that could be on another call but they don't understand that so some people pay right away and some people just like to do that delay and you get you know you get all this stuff working from the camper and they want to delay it just drives you it's driving me nuts so this is the camper it's a pretty new camper it's got i think it's got the propane tank still on there the, if the tanks are on there it might be worth a little yeah, the tanks are still on there yeah it's been flooded i mean i don't know i don't know if it's worth anything oh my god you know what's crazy that the wood didn't even uh the wood didn't even get that swollen huh oh wait moly Anybody home? Holy shit. But you know what? It's not that swollen. I bet you that got swollen. Refrigerator. Fireplace. It's a new RV. It's got the dehumidifier in here. It's got all our stuff in here still. Holy crap. Uh hard to tell because all this stuff's in here oh yeah it got mold starting to get mold here see it mold starting to grow guys i wish you would let me know in a couple days before this but still might be savable though There's ants drawers can be redone a little bit the floor's not rotted or anything this is the very next morning and it is cold out it's gonna be in the 40s tonight hurricane's about to hit tomorrow or i think it's tomorrow or tonight down in florida wish them luck guys it was 185 mile an hour winds and now it's going to probably hit them at about 135 it's going to bring a little wind shear in and wrap around and dry it out a little bit that's what happens i just wanted to show you this real quick js 3000 jumper and it's pretty cool because i like the fact that you can actually take the cables right off it and use it as a light we had this light on this led light for like a week and it didn't shut off I'm telling you, during the whole hurricane here, this thing worked great. It's a jump starter too, but you can hang it up. You can fold it out. It's got all kinds of stands. It, it tells your power levels and stuff. It's got a handle. They kind of thought of everything on this thing. So this is pretty cool. I'm going to put the link in the description. I've already jumped, jumped two cars with this, and it's worked perfect. So the, the power of it is pretty good um it's not too heavy but just heavy enough it's got the nice rubber things i usually take these off anyways but um other than that it's a good size one too so it can jump just about anything and i put 12 volts of stuff the other day and you put it on and it'll put your steady 12 volts out so we do a lot for furnaces and stuff like that and these they're not too cheesy they're actually pretty good most most clamps are not that great and you see how they they actually instead of shoving it in they actually they riveted it on there on the inside the cable so that's pretty cool pretty good quality for what it is and uh i go ahead and i'm gonna post the link below so you guys can check it out so of course we're rv repair company you know that in bostick north carolina but we just got this baby right here it's called starlink and it's pretty cool it actually works pretty good um so i don't know what else to say about it well we're gonna take this off right here and put it on the trucks after when we get our fiber back and it's going to go on top of that truck so we can have internet going down the road. So it does all kinds of things. It's got a remote and stuff. She actually designed this out of Walmart pumpkins. It fades at night. It looks pretty cool. But I think it's going to fall unless she puts some weight in this thing. Okay, guys. We're just entering the property. It drains. We run over with cars, anything. So it goes like this and then all the way down there. So this is... We're going to start getting a handle on this. And see what's in this wall. <laughs> you want me to push it with this good steer wall? <laughs> and that's where we're going to build a house up here but we're going to get a, build another house someplace else too as well with palm trees but i haven't told you about that yet it might be taken out by this hurricane i don't know whoa what do you think what do you got to hate mr hey man with the hat on and all that like you're go you're living in the country right there with a little straw in your mouth <laughs> wait let's do it right I'll tell you right now i'm gonna push this hair on what do you think about that with my city slicker haircut? So what the hay does, 
it slows stuff down and we got three rolls out here already and it's slow it is actually working see right there walt where the water's coming through it's slowing it down so we're going to spread out here and we're going to gr start grass seeding all this just to get a handle on this see what we're doing is putting the thick lines right here rolling them out and then we're doing it like this is too thick right here so we're going to do it with the pitchfork and go over so these are old ones right here old as in a month but it puts vegetation down so it stops the soil we're going to put grass seed down too but for right now we're going to stop it completely before these hay barrels get too bad how's it going wall awesome awesome wall had to go all the way to morganton and past morganton right was it way past morganton where you went valdez valdez i never even heard of it yeah, it's just East of Morganton. East of Morganton. Wasn't that far, right? No, no, it was pretty easy. Pretty easy? I stopped off at a really cool nursery that has a whole bunch of uh, really nice ornamentals, but they've got what we need for uh, building a, a screen oh. on the on the berm. I think the safety switch is a little messed up. guys it's very difficult without forks so I'm trying to push it with the bucket. I did a little damage to it, but it's all right. It's coming down here and it's just grass. See this whining right here? I think it's my pump. Hear it? I gotta change the fluids. I gotta change the, uh, well, I'm gonna add an additive. Hopefully the pump's not bad. Ah, I think I got this one, guys. Come on. You were on a farm? You grew up on a farm? You look, you look like a Fort Lauderdale firefighter grew up on a farm. I didn't grow up on a farm. I did work on it for seven years. Seven years? Yeah. 
10 acres. I'm surprised you're not wearing a respirator. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, this stuff is nasty. You you have no experience unless you've been in a in the way. hayloft of a barn and you had to unload 40 tons. What? I got the pitchfork or whatever this thing is. I got these two over here. It's looking good. Whew, it's a lot of work. This is not for the lightweights, Walt. It's kind of work. Not for the lightweights. This takes a little bit. Of, it takes a little bit of patience. So this is the old bed, which is only a month old. It's a really nice one, Sealy. And so we got another bed. Uh, we'll try this one out. See if she likes this one. Because Miss Piggy doesn't like this one, which I don't like it either. Good morning, it's the very next day and we're at some homestead thing. Fixing this RV right here. Fixing that camper right. Oh, it's been an afternoon guys. I haven't been taping, but we did go for about an hour away and grab we grabbed this RV and we got a we already did the roof on it. So we did the roof on this. We had to do a bunch of stuff, vent caps, new AC cover, die course. So we did all that, right? And now he's got a problem with the electrical where <laughs> Holy cow, it's a big problem, not a little problem. Where... It went a little poof. So, that just all screwed up. Oh, he got the thing for free, this thing. He got this for free, which is actually really nice. So he's putting some money into it. Oh, then, we got a, well, another one here with insurance on that one. We gotta do the roof. And then I'm cleaning the shipping container. We're cleaning all this up. We're cleaning our act up, guys. Well, I'm pulling a very, very, very large travel trailer. One of the biggest I've ever actually pulled. Right here. And the customer's behind me. She's going to tailgate me because it's flooded. It's a flooded 2022, so... I'll bring it back and see what we can do with her. See if we can get her back in business. This is what happens when the hurricane hits. It gets a little sandy. This isn't, and this is not the beach, guys. This is no joke. She's losing some stuff here. But the camper pro is going to try to save her camper. She's a really nice lady. And her farm is really nice. And we're going to see what we can do. Show you guys the inside. I'm just showing the YouTubers real quick. It's only like 25,000 people, no big deal. No worries. But this is what happens when you, and when the water comes up, and where she was, it didn't look like it was gonna flood at all. But everything is gone, guys. So we're gonna try to see what we can do and keep this camper up, get it up to par here. So like this is like up to here, the water. So it was in a converter and a furnace. We'll get it. We'll get it fixed up. Because it didn't really swell the wood that bad. A little bit, well, the cabinet swelled right here. But it's not the end of the world. It's not that bad, you know? Because we just put a new Fergati water heater. Did you see that video? See? So, there you go. It's still coming. Amazon is behind. Trust me. I tell you, everything over Amazon is gone. Let me see the Amazon order. Let me see. Yeah. It's three fingers. Oh, wearing a cat hat like he's cool? I think a Gale's better than a cat. Three fingers. Look at these steps. These are nice steps. Look at this, guys. That's a, not a beach, that's clay on the floor. So we got wet carpet. We got ozonators. We didn't. We don't have this going yet. We got dehumidifiers in the bathroom with hoses. Pour into the shower that's been showered with crap. Threw the bed away. Threw everything away. And we're trying to get the water out of here, guys. Not too much mold. There is mold, though. Like right here. I got this a little cleaner, cleaner. Just this one area. It literally took me like an hour <laughs> for this and for this. It literally took me like an hour just to do that, what you see. That's still all dirt in the middle. Holy, this is dirty, guys. So we're on a dehumidifier, battery charger, and an ozonator. So, ozonator dehumidifier 
I want to kill these bacteria. I want to kill everything. We're letting this air out back here. These drawers, they still ought to be clean, but I got to let it air out. So everything's been shut. Very yeah, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, we won't bug him. He's on a roll, so we won't bug him. And then this one right here, this RV, this is the wiring we got to do on this one. And we did the roof the other day. So the roof's done in this one. We just got so we got to put a transfer switch in because everything melted. And he's got a problem with the toilet, so. Oh, boy. I got to sort the shipping container. That's got to be cleaned and die cord. That's our personal vehicle. This still got to be fixed up to get on the road. I mean, it's, it's on the road now. It's registered. It's got tires. But I got to get rear tires and i got to get this back wrapped and i got to fill it with stuff so okay that's like four in one a four in one video four days in one so we're gonna cut it right here we'll see you tomorrow on the next video